hi guys and welcome back to my videos um today we're going to talk about a trigonometric equation okay and to do that uh we are having an exercise here um where we need to find uh, the value of x satisfying the equation below and this is our equation sine to the power of minus one of x minus one equals to 10 to the power of minus one of three okay first of all because we're having a constant here we can start by computing this value right to do that i'm going to bring on a calculator there you go okay so then i'm going to give her go to the second function put in a three and plug it okay the computer it gives us a uh, 71.56 and this value could be written here right the value of 10 to the power of minus 1 of 3 so I can write this value here this is equal this is what we say this is equal to uh, 71.56 degree okay and the value of uh, x minus I mean sine of uh, sine minus 1 of x minus 1 we're gonna continue writing it okay because we don't we don't need to change anything on it right now and remember when we were doing the uh, uh, you know, working other trigonometric equation we said that uh, when you have an angle like a positive angle like sine of theta equals to 0 0.5 to find the angle we need to use the inverse trigonometric function okay use the inverse trigonometry okay and by using the inverse trigonometry we're writing sine to the power of minus one of 0 0.5 to find the angle in this case which is equal to 30 degree okay so we're going to use the same thing here with a little difference that we've or we already have a minus here it means that if we apply another minus on it it's going to turn to positive so instead of writing here sine of minus one we're directly we're going to write direct sine of this angle here okay can take that, that example here by saying for example that um, if we have sine minus one you know, before we have sine of theta if we have sine minus one of theta or oh, I forgot a theta here sine minus one of theta put a theta here okay uh, equal to 30 degree this case it means that theta will be sine minus minus one minus one because remember we were doing the inverse here when we, we didn't have minus okay so now that we have a minus we're gonna you know do inverse we're gonna inverse it and by inversing the minus it become a, a positive so this is gonna give us a sign of 30 degree which equals 0 0.5 okay and this is what we're gonna do here the same process yeah and this is gonna be like the second one here okay so therefore x minus 1 will be equal to sine of 71.5 five six degrees okay and now we're going to compute uh the value of sine you know this angle here first of all before we continue now i'm bringing on the calculator again and put inside 71.56 and take it signs so it's going to give us 0 0.948 okay and this value we're going to we're going to put it here okay so we got 0 0.948 here and now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna we're gonna pass minus one to the other side since we're looking for x okay and then we're gonna have the value of x okay so to do that we're gonna add on both sides let me just take uh, the color a different color to let it clear for you to see uh, I'm taking the red color okay so we're gonna we're gonna add on both sides uh like adding plus one here and then plus one at the other side okay and plus one here so it gives us as you can see here taking a different color again um it's gonna give us i can take green because it's the last this is the end answer and we're gonna have here x the value x equals to one point nine uh four five yeah i can write it 9.5 or 9.48 okay i'll put it like this and this is the value of a 
of x we were looking for okay so we can go ahead underline it uh, to mark uh, the end of uh, our exercise okay so I'll take a blue color and then I'm gonna underline this result here end result okay that's our end result okay so again okay uh, I'm gonna recap this bit everything so we we had a do to do today with uh, the uh, trigonometric equation okay so we had an exercise here uh, where we were gonna find the value of uh, x satisfying the equation this equation here right so first of all we started by computing this value here computing the tangent of minus one tangent to the power of minus one of three it gives us 71.56 degree okay and okay we <coughs> had this value right here again okay now we we went here to remember i mean take some uh, you know we did before saying that when we were having the sine of theta equal to 0 0.5 to find the angle we have to use the inverse of sine okay the inverse of the angle to find the angle now if you are having the a negative sign the inverse is given to you right with an angle to find the value you have or you also have to inverse it but if you inverse it twice it's going to give you a positive sign okay so we have here sine of minus minus 30 degree what is sine of 30 degree it gives us 0 0.5 okay and that's a process we, we, we use here by saying that if you are have if you're having sine to the power of minus one of x minus one equals to 71.56 we're going to inverse here because we want we want to find this value x minus one here. i mean isolate it and find x at the end so we're saying that x minus one equals to sine minus one minus one because this is also it's already minus one here and it gives us sine of 71.656 degree okay so then we computed the value do this value here it gives us 0 0.948 and then we subtract it i mean we add minus one here since we're looking for x we add minus one here and we add plus one here excuse me and plus one here i mean we add one here and one there and it gives us at the end x equal to 1.94 we can even round it round it up at 9.5 okay so thank you guys for watching again and until next time stay safe bye bye